Hi everyone once more, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naninga. So we're just going in um, straight away to do our eyebrows. And before we start doing our eyebrows, I have to let you guys know that today we are doing that green, teal, bluish eyeshadow that you saw. Um, it's an evening look. So it's basically an evening makeup look because definitely you can't wear such a look during the day. And we are starting off with our eyebrows. And as usual, we are going to first outline the shape of the eyebrow that we want. Uh, whatever shape you want, basically. Uh, nowadays, everything goes, anything goes. Um, <laughs> so I've just outlined the shape and then I've filled it in um, using a black pencil because black is the one that is usually visible on my face. And especially if it's an evening look, you want to do really dark brows so that they can be more visible during the day. It looks abnormal and fake, but in the evening, I think it's a really, really good look. Next, I'm just going to go in with my usual eyebrow product, which is the Pastel Eyebrow Mascara in the shade Dark Brown, just to offset a bit of that black. And then I'm going to go back in with my spoolie, and I'm just going to try and comb the before it dries down completely because the pastel takes a little bit of time to dry down i'm going to go back in and comb it just to create like what looks like hairs and then now as you can see i am defining my eyebrows and i'm using the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn um this is a really good uh fawn is a color that is slightly lighter than my normal skin tone so it's going to make my eyebrows pop on my face Of course we have to blend all that in and I'm just using like a tiny brush to do the blending to make sure that everything is nice and even. Um, make sure that you blend really really carefully otherwise you'll have crooked lines. Now it's time to do the bell of the ball which is the eyeshadow this is the most important part of this evening look um and we are starting off with a primer and for the primer i don't have an actual makeup primer so i'm just using the maybelline superstay full coverage under eye concealer to do this and this is the shade honey um, I'm just blending it all over my eyelid and then we're going to go directly into the eyeshadows and I'm starting off with the Makeup Revolution. I used the Makeup Revolution palette for this entire makeup look and this is the palette which is Marvelous Mattes um, by Makeup Revolution and I've just started off with a burgundy shade in the crease of my eye, uh, basically where my eyeball meets my socket and then I'm going in with a teal shade just above that burgundy shade. And I'm just applying it, as you guys can see, just above the burgundy shade between my eyebrows and my eyeball. And then now we are going to do our cut crease. Um, and we are using the same same eyeshadow that we used, which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. Not eyeshadow, sorry. Concealer to make the cut crease. And we are just outlining first. You kind of like outline the cut crease first and then afterwards you fill in below it. So that's what I'm doing and you have to do this really, really carefully and slowly. That's why makeup takes time. Um, yeah, but basically, as you can see, I've created the outline first and then now I'm going to fill in all the other areas.
Okay, it's time to add some meat to these bones and we are going back to our palette, which is the Makeup Revolution palette. We've just taken that teal shade. Um, that was like a sky blue shade, really. And I'm just applying it to the center of my eyelid, um, specifically in the cut crease, the center of the cut crease. That's where I'm applying it. And then on the inner corner of the cut crease, I'm going in with a white shade. From the same same palette this is like a completely completely white shade so I'm just going to fill it in in this in the inner corner of my eye and then for the outer corner of my eye I'm going to apply a really darker shade so we're just applying the white first uh, in the inner corner of our eye and making sure that it's nicely packed and the color is visible and blending it into that other blue color very nice and carefully everything with makeup has to be careful otherwise you'll be shocked i'm sure you've watched some of my videos where i've done a hurried job you'll be surprised yeah so for the outer corner of the eye i've just taken that dark teal shade that you're seeing me apply and that's what i'm going to apply to the entire outer corner of the cut crease including the wing of the cut crease and I'm making sure to blend in those colors carefully um, so that they don't really look awkward and weird. So basically we're going to have something that looks like this, which is nicely blended colors. I just realized that one side of this um, eyeshadow look was lighter than the other side. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that teal to the other side so that it can be more um, darker. Uh, so that they can balance out eh? the eyes can look similar and then after that i'm just going to dip a small uh, brush into my cellar water and then apply the, that dark teal onto the outline of the cut crease just onto the outline of the cut crease just to make it look more visible and look more even and straight yeah so this is exactly what i'm doing i dipped a brush in my cellar water and into that dark teal shade now for the juiciest part of this which is the glitter because without glitter i'm telling you this cut crease will not look as fabulous as it looked especially for evening wear you really want to do glitter yeah so right now i just dipped my brush in a glitter palette i i got a glitter palette some time back off aliexpress and this is one of the best glitter palettes i've ever gotten my hands on i even tried to go back to that seller the seller is no longer available the palette is no longer available but it was a really really good glitter palette and I'm, i've just taken like some silver glitters what i love about and now i'm taking like that dark green shade for the dark green glitters i'm applying them on the outer corner of the cut crease now what i was saying i love about this palette this specific palette much as it's from aliexpress and a lot of people um you know accuse aliexpress of being like cheap what what and other things this palette doesn't require an eyeshadow primer it already comes like with a substance that makes the glitters adhere to the surface of your skin so i really really love it for that because i don't need to apply a glitter primer and yeah let me just blend in those glitters and then you guys are gonna see how fabulous this makeup look is and of course we can't finish our eyes without making sure that we've applied some eyeliner and for the eyeliner which i normally apply on the on my waterline is specifically the maybelline colossal kajan agan oil in extra black and i normally use it to line my waterline both my upper and lower waterline you guys who've been following me who've been watching my makeup tutorials my get ready with me videos you know very well that i always line both my upper and lower eyelids because i think it just looks better that way and then i'm going in with this dark green uh shade of eyeliner um, I can't remember where I got it because I got it a long, long time ago. It might probably be expired, but it doesn't look or behave like it's expired. So I'm still using it. But it's an amazing, amazing teal shade and I absolutely love it. So I've just used it to line my waterline, my lower waterline. And then for the eyeliner now, the one that I'll use to create a wing. Um, I believe that for a cut crease to look even better, you have to create a wing. I'm using the Note Precision Eyeliner in black that's what i have used to create that wing and then of course i've put on my lashes and it's time for foundation yes for foundation i'm using my maybelline superstay full coverage foundation and that's the shade coconut as i always say coconut is not to be confused with warm coconut so this is just plain coconut and i'm applying it all over my 
face as you can see i still have dark spots and pimples i have outbreaks right now don't know why um but i'll get to the bottom of that later on but so i need like a full coverage finish and also for like an evening look nobody minds full coverage people won't notice um so i'm applying um that coconut all over my face and then the next step we are going in with concealer because we want to cover up our dark circles and spots and just highlight the areas that we want highlighted like the bridge of my nose and my forehead despite having an already large forehead <laughs> yeah but um for for the concealer that i've used for that is the revlon um photo candid concealer in the shade medium and then for the blush i've used the lip and cheek colors by crayola and that's the shade strawberry and we're just going to blend all that in starting with our concealer because it's what we applied first so i'm going to blend in my concealer using a flat brush and then after i finish blending it in i'm going to blend in my uh, blush which is that crayola blush and after that, I'm going to go back in with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Yeah, so that's how I normally just blend my stuff. I just apply both of them at once and then I'll blend them all at once. Now we are going to go into our lips. Although I felt I, that I skipped uh, to apply my setting powder, but now I'm doing my lips and I'm just using a dark brown pencil to outline uh, the shape of my lips. And then I'm going to go in with a Luron lipstick which is also dark brown that's the luron lipstick that i'm applying i really need to work on my angles when it comes to like filming makeup videos because it appears that half the time i'm bending so much and nobody can see what's going on but i'll work on that guys if you've reached this point in the video make sure to give the video a thumbs up now that pink lipstick that i'm applying is by maybelline sensational and it's the shade uh is it called as keep it mellow i believe yes this is the shade as keep it mellow by maybelline sensational and yeah that's what i'm applying on the center of my lips just to create that two-tone effect that we all love and then for under my eyes i'm applying a brightening powder and the powder that i'm using specifically to brighten my under eye is the sasha buttercup setting powder yeah that's the one i'm applying under my eyes and in the areas that i applied concealer It's time for our nose contour and for the nose contour shade i'm using the Mayb not the maybelline the makeup revolution mega bronzer in the shade dark which is number four and i'm up i'm using it to outline my nose the shape of nose that i want basically we're using like a little brush and then after that i'm going to blend that in and make sure that it's nicely blended so that the outline doesn't look too much ridiculous <laughs> I'm now going to remove the excess powder that I'd used to set my, um, what is it called, my my concealer. Um, so I, I basically removed the Sasha Buttercup setting powder that I'd applied under my eyes and on my nose. And I'm now going in with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm going to use it as a setting powder. And this is the shade Coconut also. So this is a full coverage foundation which I have chosen to use as a setting powder. It's not supposed to be like a setting powder but i've chosen to use it that way and i'm going to apply it all over my face and it just has like a little beautiful color like basically gives me back my color um as you can see my face is looking exactly like my neck and then now we are going to go in and highlight our face using the nyx high glass illuminating powder and this is the shade golden hour and i cannot rave enough about this high glass illuminating powder because it just creates a beautiful beautiful highlight as you can see that highlight like it it looks so natural 
like even if you apply so much that highlight is going to come out super super natural it doesn't look fake or artificial like what we were doing like five years ago um and i'm also applying it on my nose the tip of my nose and then now a little trick that you notice that i had something that looked like a nose ring at the beginning of the video but that was not a nose ring so in case you've always wanted to wear a nose ring or extra jewelry you know to look like a piercing i went ahead and put um some eyelash glue that is eyelash glue that i've applied on my nose and then i'm going to pick a rhinestone and these rhinestones i just got them off aliexpress they were just a bunch of rhinestones um they are sold everywhere and as that eyelash glue is drying i'm going to do my under eyes with some uh, mascara as i always tell you guys never forget to do your mascara uh, under your you know your lower lashes don't forget that they exist your lower lashes are important yeah so as the eye, as the eyelash glue is also drying it continues drying i'm also going to add some color to my lips i know i already did my lips but i feel like they're not too toned enough you know us africans are obsessed with two toned lips <laughs> for some weird reason so i've just applied a black uh, pencil and then now i've overlined that with some lip gloss by victoria secrets the mascara that i was using i forgot to mention it it was the maybelline colossal uh, mascara in the shade black extra black and then now i'm going to go ahead and put in my rhinestone because I believe the lash glue is stuck uh, or has become sticky. When it becomes sticky is when you put in your rhinestone. So I've just put in a rhinestone and now I look like I have a piercing. And then now let's reduce the size of our forehead or give the illusion that our forehead is smaller than it actually is. And we're going to use some setting powder and I'm just using the uh, not setting powder. Why do I keep confusing these things guys? oh no anyway guys we are applying our mega bronzer and this is the final look <laughs> 